What's up guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'd like to deploy our app to a real server. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is optimize our front end assets. And for that, we'll make use of purge CSS. And we'll also make use of this package, which helps you do it in Laravel Mix. So if we run npm run dev or production in our case, since we're ready to deploy it to production, you'll see the file sizes for our front end assets. So you'll see we have our main CSS, which is 824 kilobytes, and we have our JavaScript. So we don't actually need our JavaScript since we're not making use of view or bootstrap or anything like that. So we can go ahead and remove that. So if we go into our webpack.mix.js, we can get rid of this line here. And this should get rid of the JavaScript, which we don't need. And let me just reindent this. Okay. And let's run that again. Okay. And you see that the JavaScript is gone and we are making use of Alpine, but that's just coming from a CDN. Let's just do a quick check to make sure everything still works. So let's see if the pop-up still comes up there and the trailer still comes up here. Cool. So now let's install and make use of Laravel Mix Purge CSS which is gonna strip out all the CSS classes that we're not making use of using purge CSS. So let's go ahead and install it. So I couldn't get the latest version working, so I'm gonna pull in the version that does work, and that version is 4.1.0, okay. Okay, and all we have to do to make it work is add on this purge CSS method and make sure to require it in. So let's do that required in here and then let's just tack this on right at the end here so let's just do dot purge CSS and that should work so now if we run npm run production this should result in a much smaller CSS size and there you go you see the size is 6.89 kilobytes and usually I just double check to make sure everything still looks right because sometimes it might strip out classes that you actually need. So let's just go over this and still looks good. Let's go over this. Still looks good. Okay, so everything still looks fine. Let's double check our search here. Okay, everything still looks okay. So if you look at the docs here, you'll see that there is a default config and for this, we don't need it because it has sensible defaults. But in case you want to see the default config, you can change it here and just pass it in as a parameter. And what I sometimes use is I add whitelist patterns to classes that I'm actually making use of, but purge CSS still strips out. So I just add it to this array here. Okay, so let me just make a commit here because we're going to deploy it to production in a second. And I want to deploy this version. Let me get status. Let's just add everything here. And let me commit with part nine, say purge CSS and deployment. Okay. And let me just push this up. Okay. So now let's put this on a real server. So I'm going to be making use of Laravel Forge to do this since it's a simple app. And the domain I'm going to put it on is this domain, which I use for demo projects. And I'm going to put it on a subdomain here. And I already put the A record here in DigitalOcean because I use DigitalOcean to manage my DNS. And yeah, just put an A record for the subdomain. Or if you have a real domain, put the real domain in here and point it to the server. And I have this set up in Forge already. So let's go ahead and add this site. So here I am in that same server in Forge and domain is movies.andredemos.ca and it's a Laravel site and let's just add this. Okay, you can see it adding down here, right here. Okay, let's go ahead and add a repo to it. And it is a git repo and let's go ahead and do Dre himself slash Laravel movies example. Okay, and that should install this repo. 
Okay, let's go ahead and deploy this. And you can enable quick deploy if you want every push to the master branch to deploy it. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And let's change our environment variable. You can do this on the server or you can do it within Forge. And I need to add the TMDB token here. So TMDB, I think I named the token. And just put your token in here. And I'll do that behind the scenes. Okay, so I added my token and I'm going to open a new incognito and let's try that out. So movies dot Andre demos dot CA. And there we go. There is our site on a real server. So let's just make sure everything works. Let's try TV shows. Mind you, it is a bit slower. It's running on a $5 instance. Actors still works. Let's check if the infinite scroll works and it does just a bit slow, but that's okay. Okay, so everything seems to work. Let's try the search. Okay, cool. So one more thing I want to add is HTTPS. Forge makes that very easy with literally just a few clicks. One click, two clicks, three clicks. And that should install in a second. And everything should be installed now. Let's go ahead and try that out. And let's see if the SSL certificate is active and it is cool. And let's just make sure everything still works. And it does. Cool. So if this were a real app, I would actually make use of Laravel Envoyer for zero downtime deployment. And I would make a staging server and a production server. So I'm not going to do that here because this is just a demo, but for real projects, I would spend the time to do that. And I believe I have an older video that shows how to use Envoyer, which I will link to below. So there you have it guys, we've made use of Purge CSS to minimize our front end assets and we deployed our app to a real server using Laravel Forge. So I'm going to end the series here and although our app is pretty simple, we've managed to take a look at a lot of Laravel 7 features like the HTTP client and Blade components along with modern packages like Livewire and Alpine. So part of me wanted to continue on and add an auth system and a database so we can do things like liking movies and TV shows ratings and comments. However, I've decided to end it here just to keep it simple. I encourage you to try to build upon this app if you want to explore those things. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this series and I hope you learned something new. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.